Today we, we announced uh, that we received a signed uh, document, which was the operating agreement that we had agreed to with Lyft. And uh, we're going to be bringing that to council next Thursday. So we're really happy to, to acknowledge that uh, we have a, a signed agreement that, that, that we feel can work in the city of San Antonio. And, and this is a different, you, you said this is different than any other city has done it. It is. Uh, we're really happy and excited to have created something. Uh, we call it a creative solution. And um, it's all about consumer choice. So the reality is that, is that we may never be able to sort of bridge the gap between which background check is better, but in the end, we want to provide uh, the citizens of San Antonio the, 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 an informed decision, and a choice to go with the, the standard background check that, that Lyft will be doing. They, they, they're still, they're still going to be doing all the background checks, all the, the procedures that they have to do as a TNC. Uh, but in this case, uh, riders will be able to see in the profile of, of the driver that somebody, if a driver chose to go through a city process that would include 10 print fingerprint, a background check, random drug testing, uh, and other uh, potential uh, features, uh, that that would be accessible to them. So if, if they feel more comfortable with that, we will, we will uh, have that feature in the app. Now that's what's key. It's in the app. And so uh, what we really feel good about is that Lyft has been very collaborative in this process and um, you know while they're not endorsing our process uh, there's they're, they're not going to work against it and so that's the key so uh, the what's what's really great about what we're doing here is that this is the first of its kind in the United States and uh, we think it's an, it's an incredible uh, way to to bridge that gap that I was mentioning earlier uh, so we really feel good the the chief feels really good about the idea of consumer consumer choice chief Trevino um, and, you know, I want to thank uh, Eric Walsh, uh, the Deputy City Manager, um, for, for all his hard work. Uh, Tech Block was also included in them. They kind of really help, helped us with the technical support of all this, helped with some accountability to, uh, to get people really, uh, you know, answering a lot of the difficult questions. And so we feel really good about, about bringing this to council. So it still has to go to a vote. It's, it's, it's not a done deal, but, but we feel uh, that this is the roadmap that, that can get us there. Um, I want to say what's, what's, what's really special here, while we, we, we know that this is the first of its kind in the United States, we also think what's even more special about this is its collaborative nature. The, we're going we're gonna to be working with, with Lyft throughout this entire process. It's not a done deal one, even after we pass it. Uh, what's included in the agreement is two town hall meetings. They can engage, we can engage the public to get feedback, to learn. There's going to be so much more that, that we, have to, we have to be looking at. And we know that as, as we've gone through this process, that it's about learning these new technologies, how they, how they work. Is, is there loopholes that we've missed? Is there anything that, 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 that we're doing uh, wrong, doing right? Um, so doing two town halls with Lyft with the chief of police, with city management, myself, engaging the public. I think this is really going to uh, provide a, a great fruitful discussion on, on how we move forward. The police chief has always felt strongly about 10 fingerprint background. And he still does. Can you, can you elaborate on what, what's behind his, his thinking on that? Well, so you know, I, I just want to uh, say uh, we have one of the best police chiefs. In the country, he's 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 uh, he's truly beloved by his department, by his community, and I, I I really have enjoyed working with him. He's he he stands firmly that that the, he he believes that the ten print is the gold standard for identification. However, he's also uh, a very reasonable and professional-minded person. Uh, as we develop this creative approach, we realize this might be a great way to provide that bridge. By, by, by doing consumer choice, he's allowed to say, listen, I, I still would like for you guys to do 10 print. And those of you that want that process, we can provide that process and give it to you as a choice on the platform. So it's on the platform.
You know, it's not something separate that, that they, they get stuck on a windshield or something we have to do uh, to, to notify people. It will be on the app. Now, it'll be incumbent on people to know that, that, that this is something they can do. Now, that's where we come in. We're going to be doing a lot of PSAs, a lot of um, uh, information uh, sharing to, to get, the, get the word out. That's what's important. And I think that's where the, the, where the chief really um, bought off on, on the concept because he knows that you know, this is something that he's really good at is, is getting that information out there. Um, and, uh, and so by providing consumer choice, he can certainly get behind it. So does this agreement um, still require Lyft to uh, operate under the regulations that last passed at city council or is this uh, uh, outside of? So this, this operating agreement allows them to, to operate with this agreement. Uh, we do have a current agreement, that the amendment that we have, but because we're go entering into a specific operating agreement, right. and there's more details to it, and we made sure we, we did outline some of those. Um, there's some things that, that, that are in this agreement that weren't in the amendment, uh, simply because we just left them out or, or, or it, was, it was just too much to get to. Uh, for example, we're addressing the airport. They will be paying an airport fee in this agreement, and, and they've agreed to it. Oh, wow, it's, it's the same as the, as the cabs. Cabs have to pay a dollar for every trip, they will be paying uh, 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 the same fees. So, so we did address the airport. We did address several things. They're also going to be including, part of this is really, it's, 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 they, what's really amazing is, is it adds more flexibility and more choice for those that use the platform. For example, if somebody wants to identify themselves as a military or veteran, that will be all available to them on the platform. So we think that this actually grows into more items that provide the kind of services we've been asking for, like ADA compliance. So we hope that this kind of level of information and, 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 and uh, uh, customizable data is, is going to be important to help us sort of address some of these uh, concerns and needs that the, that the city's wanting. So if, if, for instance, a driver has an ADA compliance, they could note that on their app. That is correct. How much more and so, see, so that's the other key is that drivers will be allowed to market all the great things that they have if they're ADA compliant, if they're a veteran, if they've gone through a city process. And if those things are important to enough people, then that, that becomes a new market. And so, in that gives San Antonio some form of advantage because when people get off the plane, they'll be able to get a ride hailing company. Absolutely, and that's that's important, and and, and so uh, we want to state that, that this this agreement uh, that we have in place is is not an exclusive agreement. This is not because Lyft signed it does, doesn't mean it's an exclusive agreement. We're actually still working with Uber to hope that, that we can bring them back under the same terms. Now we so we can't do exclusive uh, agreements, but this particular one we feel like this one really works. Lyft saw that that the benefits. And, and have, have been very collaborative. Uh, I've been working with Uber and, and feel very positive that, that we can work in that direction. And I think it really bridges so many, so many facets uh, of, of, of the issues we've been having. Uh, we hope that uh, this becomes a platform for many TNCs. Does this agreement require the TNCs or the drivers to pay any fees or licensing to the city? No, and, and so one of the things we're gonna be working uh, with the city, uh, with, with TNCs, is that we're going to have uh, uh, certain fares, safety fares. Uh, if you're a TNC driver, we want you to come down, we'll offer free fingerprinting, for example. So, so uh, we think that this will be a great platform. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an investment on the city's part, and uh, it's a small one, but, but we think it's, in a big way, we'll send a, send a very positive message. Uh, we really believe that, that there, there is a place for both platforms and, and ultimately uh, we re really believe in, in consumer choice and, and uh, uh, an informed one at that. The vote is coming up on Thursday and so it, it, it's not 100% it's, 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 uh, at this point, but, but we, you know, we feel good about the agreement. I feel really good about what's happened. Just know that uh, what's most exciting to me is that this is, this is a partnership and it's probably you know, the first time that we can say that. Um, and so uh, we're, we wanna change the tone that's, that's, that, that's kind of been expressed before. Uh, it, it's best to work with 
these companies than to work apart. So um, I think that's really the best message of, uh, of what we have today. So I'm very happy about it. How soon will those town halls be? In the next upcoming weeks? Well, so the, the, the agreement is, is for nine months and we'll, we'll be uh, trying to pick some dates in the near future, uh, maybe separated every three months or so. We're, we're not sure yet. We haven't determined that, but, but uh, know that we'll... Not we'll, immediately. Not immediately, no. So what will happen after nine months? So after nine months, we'll have enough data that the, the police chief can, can, and, and, and the deputy city manager, Eric Walsh, can report back to council on, on actual data that we have before us. How many people actually did the background check? How many people utilized the background check? Um, we're gonna have data on the two big events that we have year wide. The reason we have nine months is because it covers our holiday season and fiesta. So we wanna make sure we get that. That'll get us the data that we're, that we're looking for and, and, and we should have an, uh, sufficient data to, to get us to a more long-term solution. Policy. Policy, yeah. yeah. Will that data also be able to indicate the parts of the city that they serve? Yes, actually. So that's a great point. Thank you. So there's a lot, there's a lot of details, and I, would, I promise to get you the, the actual uh, agreement before you leave today. Uh, the part of what we're, we're, we're going to get is, is data by zip code origination, where they're dropping off. This is really, really fantastic. But it, it, that goes back to collaboration. They want to work with us, and we want to work with them. So we're really happy about all this. For some of us, I mean, the, the notion of them serving the whole city is, is probably a big deal. It is. It is. And it's a, it's a big deal to us. So we think, we think we're, we're well on our way.